you know, everything going on as it relates to the state of the world right now, health, viruses, et cetera, et cetera. Um, what we are wanted to make sure that we speak on is, is let's speak some facts. So I've been seeing a lot of people post or not a lot of people, but quite a few people. You got people who are actually in the medical world who are posting things such as that the immune system cannot be boosted through diet because you have a lot of people who are in the course in the natural world and things like that who understands that herbs and things like that can be healing and your food is either healing or killing you got a lot of people who are coming out and saying listen boost your immune system therefore right that you won't be as acceptable and i'm one of those people i definitely understand and believe that aspect to be true now before i go into it and before i show you a video breaking down a study based upon this same subject um i want to talk about the aspect of nobody's saying be arrogant we ain't saying because you eat kale or because you're vegan that you're going to be immune to a disease not the case but what we are saying is that you can super charge your immune system to where you're less acceptable to um you know contracting a virus such as one we see going on right now and if you do you're able to wean it off okay so let's talk about common sense really quick common sense is is that if there are things that can have your immune system be um compromised such as smoking right such as not getting enough sleep if we know those things can affect your immune system in a negative way then the way the universe works is it has to be a contrast to that if there's things that can drag it down there must be things that can bring it up so if you can't understand that just common sense wise then hopefully this short video will be able to help you just actually see a study of a control group where they seen they were able to um, show and demonstrate how diet directly affected you know the individuals that were in the group so um Without further ado, I want to show you that. We're going to bring this to the screen. To the sh screen. And let's go here. Oh, we're going to go here. So, let's look at it. Mute this. As we age, our immune system starts to decline. Uh, that's why when you hear infectious disease advisories, they often list those at greatest risk include infants, the immunocompromised, and the elderly, because the elderly are, to some extent, immunocompromised. Recently, researchers in Belfast reported an investigation into the possibility that inadequate diet may be a contributing factor to immunological aging. Both immunity and fruit and vegetable intake can be low in the elderly, so they wondered if there might be a connection. So they rounded up 83 volunteers between 65 and 95 years of age and randomized them into the control group following their pitiful two or fewer servings of fruits and vegetables a day diet versus the experimental group that were told to consume at least five. Uh, they did this for a month before they were due for their pneumonia vaccine. The experimental group didn't quite hit five daily servings, but at least they did better than control group. Here's what happened when they were given Pneumovax. Here's the immune response in the control group. They were injected with pneumonia bacteria vaccine. Their immune systems should have gone crazy making antibodies to fight off the perceived invader, and uh, they tried their best. But this is the group that was on almost five servings of fruits and veggies every day for the prior four weeks. Influenza and pneumonia constitute the seventh leading cause of death for our elderly. It's never too late to start eating healthier. So, I hope you were able to see and really understand that. I want to break down some key points of what happened in that study. Okay, first of all, the narrator of that is Dr. Michael Greger, who was a medical doctor um, who pushes the idea of using nutrition as a form of healing, okay, and a form of, you know, um, 
just being overall healthy. So instead of just doing it from an emotional standpoint, he has an organization called Nutritional Facts, nutritionfacts.org, where he reviews major studies on a yearly basis and breaks down what, what the findings actually said and is able to translate it to those of us who are you know, looking for this kind of information where we get this type of information to you. So, um, number one, the study was basically showing or it was the, the question was posed, can diet have an effect to your immune response? Okay. And if so, let's take and let's see. So they took 83 people and they had a control group, which only ate um, less than two servings of fruits or vegetables per day. And then they had a the experimental group that ate uh, five um, servings of vegetables per day. And he, he noted that actually that a lot of them even didn't even get to make it up to five, but they did better than the ones who didn't pretty much eat any fruits or vegetables at all or less than two servings. So what the findings show was the IgG, okay, which is immune response because they all got vaccinated with pneumonia vaccine and the IgG showed that those who were eating more fruits and vegetables had a higher immune response than those who were not, okay, because it was more to pull from. So the numbers show that the immune response to IgG for those who were eating, you know, around, you know, anywhere between three and five veggies or up to five uh, servings of vegetables, um, were at a 300 versus those who were not and they were in a control group which was less than two servings had a IgG of 180 okay and so what that simply proves is is the understanding that absolutely that your diet is directly involved with your immune system if your diet is is not healthy your immune system can't be healthy because it has nothing to be able to feed it so any other thought process um outside of that narrative is bogus um and this is not the only study around and this is not the first study around people automatically know that again what the common sense aspect of it is is that if there are things that can um have our immune system compromised then the the the, the opposite must be true there must be things that we can do to um, heighten our immune system and obviously you we you understand especially if you follow us we understand and we transform our clients by three means meditation movement and mangoes you know meditation the aspect of being you know calm in the mind okay movement is through exercise immune system boosting through exercise we know that as well and then mangoes is in representation of plant-based nutrition more fruits and vegetables and so incorporating these things into your life will for sure give you a better fighting chance. And if you do these things and you have a regimen where you start incorporating detoxification, herbs and things like that, you'll even be even better off than what we're explaining here. So with that being said, what we want to do is, is we want to encourage you during this time frame to not be a victim. But, all, but, but really focus on boosting your immune system. If you do not know how, please make sure that you reach out. I want you to make sure that you share this video. You like this video, you comment, and get this you know, to the rest of the world, okay? So with that being said, um, Tori checking out LOJ Fit Club, and enjoy, peace.